Thursday, the 25th of February, was the 12th annual Costume Designers Guild Awards. Frock Talk reporter Sarah Schusler talked with one of Avatar's costume designers, Deborah Scott, on the red carpet. How has it turned out like you thought it was going to? Yeah, I think it turned out amazingly. And I think the one, the, really the most gratifying part about how it turned out for a designer is that the, 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 the items and the photoshops and the things that I turned over for them, to them, uh-huh. they realized like so true to form that they didn't, you know, they really wanted to, the, the visual artists and the animators really wanted to follow my lead. So it was, it wasn't like they got it and then changed stuff. Uh-huh. So. It was like, oh my god! And after I saw the movie, it didn't really occur to me until afterwards when I went, oh my gosh, how amazing! <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, I was we were reading something. I think it's actually on the guild website about like nipple tape. Yeah. <laughs> and I thought that was so funny because I hadn't thought about like the idea that you would have to like explain those practical things. Like, right. They, they took your lead on that as well. Right. Well, also because Jim Cameron, who was really dedicated to the idea that the costumes look real and to look real they have to have sort of volume and flow and you know how does this move as opposed to this move so they would that's what a lot of times we would do a motion test with an item on a real person and then they would they'd have to extrapolate everything to be on this 10 foot tall blue person but they would have things like Moat's beaded top where she, you know the weight of it you, you know how beads move right and then they're like oh my god her nipple's gonna show through <laughs> and so it would just be it was as simple as approaching it exactly the way that you would on a set if you were having the same problem yeah I was gonna so does that were there costumers around I mean like I know you had people working with you mm-hmm. but like in terms of there being like on set costumers how did something like that work with like, when they were doing motion capture no because like that yeah you? well when they did the mo- I wasn't there for the motion capture the motion capture is done in these special suits that are are, you know, marked with a lot of funny little day glow markers so that as the cameras, especially in 3D, wrap around the body, they can, that's why the performances in that movie are so good. Because if you look at the motion capture of one of the actresses and her, the end result, it's the same thing. It's really, really, yeah, exactly, exactly. So they didn't, you know, at that point they weren't, you're not, they're not really using clothing. They're just using the suits. So it's an, it's a, it's a multi-layered process and it takes a very long time. So would you do something, would you do a project like this again? Sure. Yeah. It's, you know, it's, the, it's it's part of the future. You know, and my big on the soapbox thing is to, to really get, it's a kind of an uncharted territory for designers and there's, there's 3D animation being done where they're not hiring designers. They think that all the artists can do it in a computer and I think Avatar is sort of a testament of like how much better it can be. Right. 